Uh, next game on the board, the game that I was at yesterday, Alabama 42, Ole Miss 21. Uh, we don't have to spend long on this, but that was a masterful defensive performance in the first half by Alabama. I don't know that anybody, even in the wildest imaginations of any Alabama fan, would have ever envisioned an Alabama defense being able to do that to Lane Kiffin. Uh, but it went exactly the way that you and I had talked about where there was going to be so much volatility because of how many times Lane Kiffin was going to try and go for it on fourth down, right? He was mm-hmm. going to have to risk things, and if they did not go the correct way, it could get ugly. And it show got ugly. This game was 42-7 to to start the fourth quarter. It was a disaster from the word go. Held Ole Miss to 291 yards of total offense. And it's not like Alabama put on a clinic. Uh, Ole Miss played a 3-2-6 defense and and dropped eight for the majority of the game, which is why you did not see Bryce Young throwing down the field and you didn't see all that kind of stuff because uh, when you're running a 3-2-6 and you drop eight, you only got three defensive linemen. You only got three guys in the box, really. Yeah, so they, they weren't even trying to pressure. They, they were just... able to run the ball. Alabama had 210 on the ground, 50 carries, 4.2 yards per rush, and Ole Miss could not stop it. As soon as they started bringing guys up, uh, you saw multiple guys on post slants, on, on all sorts of different plays, where they were able to get into the middle of the defense and on the top of the defense, and they could do anything they wanted to. They, they held the ball for 38 minutes in this game, uh, which time of possession, not necessarily a, a factor, but when the other offense only has the ball for 22 minutes, that that does make a difference uh, when they are as explosive as, as Lane Kiffin's offense. So uh, Kiffin, before the game, of course, came out. Everybody was laughing about it, but the, uh, you know, get your popcorn ready and all this. He, he was as confident as I have ever seen him, and I felt like he thought he was going to win that football game. And yep, that I has to I be... Believe it. That's Chris, that's got to be the most demoralizing thing in the world is to yep. know that you can do it and come out and get down 28 to nothing at the half. What uh, what did you think about this game? Uh, I turned it off before halftime, but, you know, it was just going forward all, all those fourth downs. I heard too many people say you can't play that way. Yes, that's the only way yes, you, you can play if you want to beat Bama. Yes. That's the only way you can play if you have to, if you want to beat Bama. I him going because it doesn't matter. He could and. And hell, when he when he finally punted the first punt of the game, like people were like, "Well, he finally couldn't go for it there." Bullshit! I would have went for it. It doesn't matter if Bama was going to drive eighty eight yards or if Bama was going to drive twenty yards. He knew Bama was going to score, and if he doesn't score on every possession, then he cannot stay in this game. And so it's it's just a matter of getting beat by fifty or getting beat by twenty. But at the end of the day, you're getting beat if you don't put points up and you give the ball back to Alabama. It's, it's right not about, like it's not like he was, he was right unsuccessful uh, on, on the fourth downs. I mean he he got the first two that he tried. He drove all the way down to the Alabama five yard line on the opening drive, and on fourth and one, they got stuffed. Like he had opportunities. They went two for five on fourth down, but on the other side, Alabama said, "Okay, what? Well, like we'll match you one for one." They they went three for four. On fourth down. Third down efficiency, like, okay, not bad. Five out of 14. I mean, that's not ideal, but they, you still converted some third downs and you converted some fourth downs. Uh, the yeah. problem is that you had too many of them on specific drives, right? So, you know, it, it it was, I think we all wanted something. Like, you go into this and you, uh, you expect one thing, and when it turns out to be something completely different, you have to just rewire exactly what is going on here. This is not a super explosive Alabama football team, and and it is an explosive Ole Miss team, but it's not if if the risks don't pay off. So it was, uh, it was an interesting game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.